Hello, ladies and gentlemen, KJ here, and I am back with another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. Now, in the last episode, we got to the next town, you know, met the gym leader, who is my dad, in fact. Then met Wally and helped him get his very first Pokemon, a Ralts. We then continued on until we got up here to the for spooky Forbidden Forest, as I like to call it. And on top of that, we also captured a couple new Pokemon. We captured Talo, which was my main goal for the episode, to get a Talo. He's level 4, kind of weak, so we gotta really, you know, train him up and get him up and running this episode. Um, he almost beat a level 7 Zigzagoon last episode. Um, however, full restore really kind of messed me up and we weren't able to do it. Only one hit point away. But, we also caught Wingle, which is not in my party right now, and our Wurmple evolved into a Cascoon. So we got a lot done last episode. This episode, I'd like to go through the entire spooky forest thing here, try and catch as many Pokemon, at least as many different Pokemon as I can find in there. Top priorities, which I would like to try and get, are a C-Dot, which I saw last episode, so I kind of want it. Um, should probably be in the forest, I would think. I don't know. And maybe if we can find a Silicoon in the forest. Because our Wurmple evolved into a Cascoon. If we can find a Silicoon, that would be awesome too. Other than that, just kind of battle some trainers, battle some Pokemon, and get through the forest in this episode. Those are the goals, so might as well get going with it. And this place is called... Petalburg Woods, not the Forbidden Forest. Alright, so we got a first trainer battle here. It's a bunch of bug Pokemon. Alright. Let's see. Holy crap, that's a lot of Pokemon. He's got a full set. Six Pokemon. All bugs. So we're gonna have Halo trying to level up a little bit. Whoa! Oh yeah! Talos! Talos a flying Pokemon! Peck's a flying move! Bugs are weak against flying types! Oh, this is this is awesome. This is awesome. Oh, Talo, as soon as he starts like leveling up here. 34. Leveled up to level 5 right there. Nice! Oh, I think Taylor can, like, take this whole trainer on. Oops. I'm not gonna even tr try to even change Pokemon. I think Taylor can take on all these guys. If they're all just Wurmples, I think Taylor's got this. Taylor is... Ooh, one-shot KO there. Taylor's definitely got this. Oh, he's definitely got this. Oh, he grew up again. Level 6. What a boss! Oh, I gotta stop. I just keep button mashing that one button and... I gotta stop doing that. Alright, come on, Dalo. He's in our pack attack. Boom! Our one-shot kill. Oh, this is... This is... This is wonderful! Look at this. Dalo. Halfway there again. No, I am not changing Pokemon. I am riding this thing out. Come on. Look at this. Taylor Peck. Just, 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 boom. Again. Done. You're done. And Taylor. Do, 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 do. Level 7. Guys, we are like four and a half minutes into this episode. And I've already met one of the goals, which was, you know, leveling up Talo. <laughs> he, he's already at level 7 and ain't looking to stop. Okay. He's just taking all these guys on. Every Wurmple that comes out is just getting knocked out. One-shotted now. Yep. One last Wurmple. Let's go ahead and finish strong, Talo. Make it a clean sweep. We only used Peck... Twice in a match, once. That is awesome. And Taylor grows 
to level 8. Learns quick attack while he's at it. Look at that. In this one match with this bug trainer, Lyle, Taylor has doubled his level from 4 to 8. That is awesome. That, that is, that is awesome. Yeah, I beat you with one Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't got nothing, kid. Okay, there's a Zigzagoon. Taylor, I don't think it's gonna be especially good against this. Can you... Wow! I was wrong there. I mean, I, I, mean, I know that was a critical hit. But just one shot to Zigzagoon, too! Holy crap, my Taylor is just a beast! I'm loving this Taylor right now. He He's rocking it. He, he, he just can't be stopped. Ooh, new Pokemon. Slackloth. A Slackloth. Just kind of like, you know... Kind of like a Slowpoke. It's kind of like this version of a Slowpoke. Um, go ahead and use Quick Attack. Don't kill it! Okay, good. Oh no, is this going to put me to sleep? Made me drowsy. Didn't put me to sleep. Quick attack! Don't kill it! Don't, 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 don't do it! Don't do it! Okay, good. He's lofting along. Now Taylor is asleep. But that's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and use the Pokeball and capture this Slackloth. I don't know if I'll use him as a Pokemon. Um, I know he evolves. There's two evolved forms of him. I think they get pretty powerful, but. At this point, Slackloth are, you know, kind of lazy. <laughs> That's what they're called, you know. They're a sloth. Um, so he's a slacker Pokemon. Slackloth's heart beats just once a minute. Whatever happens, it is content to loft around motionless. It is rare to see this Pokemon in motion. So yeah, I think a lot of the attacks just don't end up happening because it just is too busy sleeping. <laughs> on the job. Unfortunately, it put my tail to sleep. So I'm actually going to switch him out right now with Puccina. Puccina does have to get some work done on him. Um, I'm actually going to jump down and see what's over here. I did not explore this side. There is a Cascoon. That's the guy we have. Ours evolved into a Cascoon or Wurmple. I said, though, that if we find a Silicoon, that's on my to-do list to try and capture it. That and a C dot. I would really like a C dot. C dot would be awesome. Not necessarily because I like C dot or I think C dot's good, but I just want to capture them all. You no, know, it's like it says, gotta catch them all. Pokemon. That's, 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 you know, that's their motto. Who am I to go against the motto of Nintendo's Pokemon? I, I'm no one to go against it. So I'm just going to do my best to follow the rules. I love wild cascoons and silicoons, because all they do is harden until they can't anymore, and then they try attacking. And by then, it's going to be too late, and I'm going to just have you wrecked. As long as Puccino doesn't miss again. Boom. Alright. Good job, Puccino. Gain some levels there. Hello. Always check where I'm walking. Alright. Always check where you're walking. Oh, this brings me on the other side. And I can now get that Pokeball. Wild Pokemon. Okay. What's in here? It's a Pokeball! So I went through all that for a Pokeball. Wonderful. Can I go back this way? Oh good, I can. Uh, okay, we'll just go on back. Go back through the grass. And met no one. Great job. No one to be found, okay. 
Hello! Called Shroomish around here. No. I have not found any Shroomishes. I would like to find a Shroomish though, because I would like a Shroomish now too. He just gave me something else to put on my checklist. Okay. So here I am. Okay. Devon Researcher. Hand over those papers. Yes. Why do I gotta help you? I don't have to help you. I'm a Pokemon trainer. I'm not the police. No, I ain't gonna protect him. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm I'm getting pulled into this thing. I I want no part of this, man. Well, this confirms who the bad guy of this one is. It's Team Aqua. Which, now that I think about it, that means then Team Magma was the bad guy for Ruby. Oh, look at this. It's Pugina versus Pugina. That's awesome. There's kind of a deficit, though. With, you know, levels. <laughs> oh, that's, that's not good. I don't know if I have anyone strong enough to take this guy out. I, I really don't. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. I left Trico at home in the PC. And he's level... 10? So... I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> that was probably a poor decision. But I still... I still feel like I got this. I still feel like we got this. He keeps using Howl, which probably means he's gonna just one-shot me. But that's okay, I can weaken him up. Not enough. Okay, I got him down to half health. Let's see who can do this. Wish Taylor wasn't asleep right now. Let's take out Ralts. He's only a level below. You got this, Ralts. Confusion. It doesn't affect Pugino. That's that's great. Okay. So now I gotta waste a turn and sub out a Pokemon. Okay. Um let's go Zigzagoon. Yeah. If this doesn't work, we're screwed. <laughs> We're gonna be screwed, I think, guys. Oh, we're screwed. We're we're so screwed. Come on, tackle, tackle. Take him out, 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 take him out. Come on, tackle. Boom. Oh, one HP. I swear, if you use a potion, I'm gonna be pissed. He's gonna use a potion, isn't he? Oh, he didn't. Yes, Zigzagoon for the win. Ralts gains experience, that's nice. And Zigzagoon gains experience. Yeah! Yeah, I am tough. And I ain't kidding you. Now get the heck out of here. Aww, you're a Pokemon. After something in Rustboro. I'll let you go. Well, Rustboro's where I'm heading, dude, so... That's not gonna be very... Helpful. And to rob me of these important papers. I'll give you a great ball. Yay! Great ball! I haven't really needed a great ball. I've been able to catch everything with Pokeballs right now. Uh oh. It's a crisis. I can't be wasting time. Bye. Goodbye, friend. Um, Puccina's unfortunately fainted. Zigzagoon's now at half health, and Talos still asleep. So, yeah! Go, Pokemon! Hello? One of our battles, you should stay out of tall grass. It's kinda hard when everything's tall grass. Um, I'm gonna put Talos front and center, cause I want him to kinda wake up. And the only way that's gonna happen is if he tries to battle. Ooh, although I would really like him for that battle against that bug trainer. But he's got... Oh, Zigzagoon, this is not a fight I want to face with the sleeping Talo. Uh, okay, come on. Okay, quick attack. Fast asleep, that's great. Come on, Talo, wake up. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Okay, rise and shine, Talo, come on. Snap to. Snap to. Get up! Wake up! Wake up, Tillo! T 
Hello, wake up! Oh, Taylor. Yes, he woke up! Wake attack! Boom! Okay, Taylor. Now I can start doing some damage. Let's do this. Okay. Quick attack. Alright. Alright. Unfortunately, this guy's kicking my butt. Because Taylo was fast asleep for quite a few turns. Okay. I need to, like, kill him now. Okay, Taylor. If you don't do this, you may not get our chance. Okay, good. Whew. Good job, Taylor. Um, do I have any potions? I have two. Also full restore. Uh, I'm not gonna use that right now. We're just gonna go battle this guy. It's a bug trainer. Yeah, okay, come on. If you take bug Pokemon to school, you're instantly popular? I don't think so, dude. I really don't think so. Ooh, Nicarita, look at that. That's awesome. Now I need to find a Nicarita too. Man, all, all these things I need to do, these Pokemon I need to find and catch. Taylor knocks him out with only 4 HP left, like a boss. Big gain on XP there, Taylor grows to level 9, and almost at level 10. Taylor is awesome. Just saying, right here and right now, Taylor is a badass. Big bug Pokemon, people respect you. No one respects you for big bug Pokemon. You know what people respect you for? A badass Taylor, and that's what I got, man. Look at this thing. He can beat anyone, man. Anyone he's beating up right now. He's even weak right now, and I'm gonna get in a fight with someone to probably beat him. Watch. Ooh, Shroomish! 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 Okay. Okay. We gotta switch out to Pokemon, because I can't have you killing it. <laughs> I really can't have you killing the Shroomish. Zigzagoon. Come on out. You. I need you to capture. I need this. I need a Shroomish. Tackle. We're gonna capture a Shroomish, guys. Let's do this. Aww. Oh. Zigzagoon's paralyzed. Thanks to a Shroomish. That's not good. Oh, that's not good either. Tackle. Oh, no. This, this may not turn out well. <laughs> Zigzagoon is getting beat up by a Shroomish. This is embarrassing. If I didn't have to capture this thing, then, you know, I would let Taylor kill it, but I really kind of want it. Okay, I'm gonna just take a chance and try and capture it right now. Come on! Pokeball! Shroomish! See if we can get it. Boom! Boom! Yes! We have caught a Shroomish! Alright, I'll take that as... that's a pretty nice win there. It's a mushroom Pokemon. If Shroomish senses danger, it shakes its body and scatters spores from the top of its head. This Pokemon's spores are so toxic, they may... they make trees and weeds wilt. Well, that's lovely. So we are just adding up the Pokemon on our Pokedex here. Ah, uh, yes. The classic cut tree. That I cannot do. Is there no sea dots in the forest? Oh, there's a shroomish. Oh man, that one's a stronger one. Why didn't I get the stronger shroomish? Taylor, okay, peck. Didn't quite get him. And he didn't get hit with the special effect. That's good. He did get hit with that, though, which is not good. Go ahead and pack him again. This will end it. Boom! Shroomish. Done. So Taylor gains 55, level 10. Look at that. 
Gained six levels in the forest here. Six levels in the forest from him for him. It's amazing. What have you picked up, Zigzagoon? Ooh, a nugget! We can get more money! More money! Money, 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 money! Money! Do you wanna fight me? No, okay, good. Fill them with seeds and spam fast. So you can try it out. Yay! I gained my first TM! Which is a technical machine. You can use it to teach your Pokemon moves. In this case, Leech Seed or Spitting Seed or some type of seed. Whatever, we got Cherry Berries. So it's all good. And some more Oran Berries. Yes. Yes. And I believe this is where I get the watering pail. Because I believe this is the gardeny place. Oh, I don't want to plant anything. Can I go back here? Oh, yes, I can. Oh, there's a Pokeball. Get the Pokeball. There's a Pokemon attacking me. It's a Zigzagoon. It's a wild Zigzagoon. Delo. Um, you are not strong enough for this fight. We're going to have Ralts come on in. I think we're actually going to switch Ralts out with Taylor because Taylor's low weak right now. So I don't think that he's going to be able to do much. Well, Ralts possibly can. So, confusion. Alright. A lot of damage there. Zigzagoon missed. And so that should be good for us. Take him out. Alright. Taylor will split it with him, but I'm going to switch him out right now. Uh, nothing against Taylor, but he's got quite a few levels right now. Don't really have to worry about him right now. And I could use a potion on him, but I'm pretty close to the Pokemon Center, so I really don't want it at this point. Now's when I wish I didn't switch him out, because now there's a Wormpole. I've not caught either of the two Pokemon that I wanted, the Silicoon or the Seedot, this episode, so, although I have caught, you know, a couple different ones, caught a Shroomish, and something else, too, I caught at the very beginning, 22 minutes in, I don't remember, so that's, that's good memory for me, yeah, no, I didn't catch anything else, I just got Taylor evolved, a bunch. Or leveled up a bunch. Which is still a great, a great feat. Pretty petal flower shop. Aww. Isn't that precious? It's precious. Hello. The more beautiful they bloom. You can have this. Aww. There we go, the Whalmer pail. Water them with the Whalmer pail. See? Now I can plant berries and grow them and be a whole nature person. Loving everything like that. Oh, look at that. I get another, more free stuff. I love free stuff. It's a leap of berry. A machine that mixes up berries and makes candies. I want some candy, too. I could go for some candy. I don't have any candy right now, though, so, I mean... I wish I had some candy. It's a nice name. Yeah, I know it is. Sure, I'll learn about berries. We got some time to kill. Why not? Okay. Mm, I haven't been doing that. I, I will probably plant berries eventually. So I can, you know keep harvesting them and keep reusing them, especially when I start using the candies and everything, because I'll probably do some of those, because candies I think helps with like beauty pageants and ribbons and stuff, and I probably will do some of those. Yes, I am one of the people who actually do like that. I know you really don't get much for it, you get like a ribbon and that's about it, but you know, it's, it's fun to do on the side. 
fun to see what Pokemon I can get to be good at something. Like that. Okay. That person's gonna want to battle. What is my Pokemon situation looking like? It's not looking very good right now. Zigzagoon's kind of in the toilets. Talo's in the toilets. Okay, um, I'm going to heal up Talo. Because he's like a beast right now. And like, just can't be stopped no matter what happens. And we are ready. Bring it on! Bring it on! Come on! We must have been fated to meet. May I ask you for a battle? I really don't get a choice in the matter. So let's do this! What do you got? A zigzagoon. This is versus my Ralts. I'm one level higher. Oof! I pressed the wrong button! I got click happy! I got click happy again! And I used growl! And I didn't want to use growl! And now I'm gonna pay for it! Oof! I cannot get over click happy. Do not get click happy. When you get click happy, bad things happen. <laughs> like just there happened. Luckily, it did not cost me much. Ralt still won. And that was the only Pokemon of hers. A big lump of sum. Okay. I hope we meet again too. You're gonna want to battle. Let's do this. I need to learn cut so I can get that Pokeball over there. Alright. Let's see. What does this person got? This Pokemon. Two Pokemon. Let's do this. Lotad. Alright. Rolf, you got this. I should bring out Zigzagoon. It doesn't get affected by... Um... Astonish. Although this one probably knows... Something other than Astonish. It knows Absorb. Yeah. I got there. I didn't, I didn't need it to attack to get there. Because my guy knows it, so... But I feel Rolf can get this. I feel he can... I feel he's got this. I feel like he's got this. Probably level up to level 9 while he's doing this. Doing this thing, doing this thing. Boom! 111, big time gain there. Alright. Shroomish. Yes, we're going to change Pokemon. Gotta bring him out, guys. Gotta do it. Got well, should we bring out Cascoon? What do you think? I think we're going to bring out Cascoon. See if Cascoon can get some levels here against a Shroomish. If it's level 7 Shroomish, will be an even fight. It is. I don't think Cascoon can get affected by... Parallelism? Ooh! That's nice. Poison Sting has a big effect on Shroomish, and Cascoon is a hardened shell, so I see that Absorb does not seem to do much. But look at this, Poison Sting. Boom! It says it's super effective, but it's really not taking that much out. I think that's kind of just because they're at the same level right now. But, I'll just keep, like, shooting him with the Poison Sting. See if I can maybe poison him too while I'm at it. That would be helpful. Poison Sting! Boom! Okay. Maybe... Maybe one more? No, it's probably gonna be two. It's probably gonna be two more hits. Unless we get lucky and get, like, a crit. Come on, crit! Come on, crit! No! What about poison? No! <laughs> Alright. So we will go to one more shot. It's got like two, three hit points left. Let's go ahead and wrap this thing up, Cascoon. I believed in Cascoon. You know, I could have taken the easy way out and just sent out Talo. Could have just like two shot at the guy, maybe even one shot him. I was like, no. I'm gonna give it to Cascoon. I'm gonna call up Cascoon. Let him level up to level 8 here. And yeah. Get the 
win. Big time plays. Big time plays all around for my Pokemon. Thrall! Pitching in. All the guys are tur turning up some very nice games. Um, ooh, two person match. Oh, but I have to click on them to do it. I'm not gonna do that because I'm kind of weak right now. <laughs> um, more flowers, more berries. Plant a berry in this spot. That's common courtesy. Yay, another berry! A chesto berry! Pokemon hold berries. It's up to you whether to grow them or use them. Well, I'm going to take these ones. So we got two Leapa berries. Uh, I may just plant some off camera after this episode. Maybe right here from back by the place. Just to kind of get them growing and everything. And then, you know, maybe have a plant. And have some berries on them. And I think if I water them, I can get it like three. Yeah, I think three I can get at maximum. I'm going to battle this fisherman here, which means I'm going to switch Lotad to the front, because he can use Absorb on water Pokemon. Yes. Yes, water is weak against grass, so Absorb would be a very good one to use on it. Oh my god, it's a Magikarp. <laughs> Alright, well I have, I have no problems then. I, I have no problems whatsoever. I could use anything and I would still win it. Never mind, it's, it's gonna just... It's gonna be... I feel a little sorry for him. I really do. I, I, I'll i admit that I'm probably gonna catch a Magikarp. And Magikarp by itself is not good. But w if you get XP share, which I hope I get eventually, Put it on the Magikarp and just do your normal thing. He's gonna evolve into a Gyarados. And when he does, you will rule everything. Okay? Gyarados. Oh, yes. Gyarados is awesome. No, no doubt about it. Okay, Magikarp, come on. I get him almost down. Lotad is not at the point of Taylor where he can one-shot things yet. Almost, probably, but not quite there. Pretty happy with all my party Pokemon right now. All pretty high level, except Puchina, who fainted early, and Zigzagoon, who's close to fainting. But he's at level 8, so not bad. Another Magikarp. No, I'm not changing for a stupid Magikarp. <laughs> Come on, one, one, one shot. Come on, let's end this thing. Right now. End it. Finish him. Do it Mortal Kombat style. Finish him. No, I guess not. I guess we will have to use one more Absorb. One more time. Magikarp Splash does nothing, and Lotad will pick up the win. Oh, poor Magikarp. Fortunately, I do not get any XP out of it. Really, at least not any anything worth it. Uh, okay, um, I don't remember if going into the city causes a fight with Aqua or not. So I don't know if I want to do that. Um, I'm probably not going to do that. I'm going to leave it off. Should I leave it off? Well, okay, let's just do it. Screw it. Let's see what happens. Okay, nothing ha Nothing bad happened. Yay, nothing bad happened. Let's go to the PC here. Go ahead and heal up my 
Pokemon need healing. We're almost dead. <laughs> There's a long stretch of fighting there at the end. What in Petalburg Forest? And then against all the trainers along the way. Restored them to full health. Let's take a look at those guys. Yeah! Ta Puccina, you, you're really lacking behind. <laughs> you, you are just lagging behind. Okay, so, um, what Pokemon did we catch today? Let's go ahead and take a look inside here. Move them around. So we, oh, okay, so we, yeah, we did catch another one. We caught a Shroomish and a Slack Cloth. I forgot about the Slack Cloth. As well as just massively upgrading Talo by like six levels. Um, I would call this a pretty successful, pretty successful episode. We did not get a C that, we did not get a Silicoon, so those are still on the to-do list. As well as a Nikita, I think I saw Nikita or that one person had. So I want one of those. Um, not gonna worry about the Magikarp right now. But that will be coming later on, when I get a fishing rod. But, other than that, I'm going to end this episode right here. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, as well as any comments down below on anything you have on this video. Um, other than that, I'm KJ, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.